Hey folks, Norm here, and uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of quick uh, insight into the uh, pondering follow-up recording, as yet unnamed, but um, I'm down here in San Diego and getting ready to uh, kick into a week of sort of finishing up tunes and and doing some, uh, hopefully some recording as well, but just wanted to quickly show you my setup. Um, as you can see there, I've got my uh, two, um, two of my MTDs, there's the 535, which is my main one that I uh, use all the time. And then I've got my 735, which I don't use nearly as much, but I definitely like it for songwriting and uh, recording solos and um, cording and that kind of thing. I have a MacBook here running Pro Tools LE um, and also Addictive Drums, which is a really killer uh, drum program. And then I've got an Mbox 2 Mini um, with my little portable Roland speakers. This again is my portable setup. I've got uh, my real equipment is at my house, but this is certainly good enough to do demo stuff, and, and uh, I'm hoping to get some recording done if I can. I have a Ready Tube Direct Box, which uh, is an incredible uh, tube direct box, <laughs> but uh, I got it under the auspices of a very cool guy um, named Jonathan Starr, who uh, acquired this for me at the last NAMM show. It's uh, pretty stunning sounding unit and um, definitely uh, goes toe to toe with my main signal path at home which is uh, going into an API um, A to D mic pre and directly into my uh, Pro Tools HD setup. Yeah, I've been throwing together song ideas and little tune snippets for uh, the past number of years and I've kind of cataloged a bunch of that and, and transcribed it into uh, into Sibelius, so I'm going to be going through a bunch of the song ideas and seeing what's uh, compatible, maybe seeing if I can get some things together. I have a bunch of scribbled notes here as well as uh, this notebook just full of uh, just different song ideas that uh, have come over the years, and that's an Axiom 25 I just recently got to uh, use as a MIDI controller um, for addictive drums mostly. Um, but also some pads or whatever else I might need in terms of the demo. There's a Firelight 160 gig uh, Firewire hard drive. I've got a bunch of song ideas cataloged on that unit as well. It's a uh, Boss Micro BR. I've got all my sustenance here. I've got uh, my green tea and my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Woo! And uh, all my other, yeah, you know. Pop-Tarts, Zone Bars, Cheetos, those are all my weaknesses. Hoping to get a bunch of stuff done this week, so. Uh, but this is the earliest stage of the writing retreat, and it's uh, just about to get dark here in San Diego. Well, man. Yeah, so, basic part. So it's uh, June 23rd, 2008. Welcome to Grace K Studios, my home studio. And I'm here with Dave Owens, drummer extraordinaire. Drummer Great. extraordinaire. Woo! Friend. Those of you who've seen uh, the Volume 3 DVD are well acquainted with Dave. Uh, he played all over Pondering the Sushi, and I'm really excited. We're working on the follow up to Pondering the Sushi right now. And uh, Dave's over today. Basically, what we're doing is sort of coming up with basic MIDI drum parts, like four eight bar phrases that can be looped and I can start building the tunes around that. This is my Pro Tools setup. By the way, that fan, yes, it's horrifically loud. Uh, my Mac Pro fan is just, it's like ready for the, uh, it's ready for takeoff. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I need to get that in. But thankfully we're not doing any live miking today. It's all MIDI. He's using his uh, Roland Hand Sonic and uh, yeah. Two pedals and a hand saw. And he's trying, it's pretty crazy trying to do some of these West African-esque grooves. <laughs> like, break, like, play that one slowly, the one you're just doing. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Dave actually needs to go back and now, once these songs are together, he's going to have to learn how to play this stuff. Real realistic sounding stuff. So anyway, it's just... Uh, 
we're sort of in demo mode, but putting together the songs, and eventually, basically, they get uh, into Pro Tools, and I kind of come up with a roadmap, and then I actually start tracking parts and then replacing them as I go. So I may play the guitar player's part or uh, something along those lines, keyboard player's part, and then they go and replace it. And that's uh, sort of, so this is a big step in terms of the momentum for the project. So we've been working all day long, and we've got a couple more tunes to go, but uh, progress is being made. Center and one of the countless loud trains that go by here, <laughs> the Hilton in uh, the Gaslamp Quarter here in San Diego. Trying to get stuff done, basically uh, editing uh, Dave's uh, rough MIDI drums just uh, to get our roadmaps together for the tunes. More of the same, just slugging through the sort of the unglamorous part of uh, making music. <laughs> but it is a beautiful night here in San Diego. And uh, always nice to get a room with a decent view. Kind of helps with the inspiration level. Anyway, take care.